Welcome to the Parent Life Podcast. My name is Jason Stanley. I'm the middle school pastor here at Fruit Cove Baptist Church. This podcast is designed to cover critical topics for parents who are trying to raise their children to be Christian. May is Mental Health Awareness Month. And as a church, uh, we take mental health seriously. We have the Cove Family Counseling Center that is a part of our church. And that vision actually started with Pastor Tim. And so we've asked uh, Tim to come and share a little bit with us uh, some topics germane uh, to mental health. So welcome back, PT. Thank you. Good to be here. Nice to be with you all today. So what I want you to discuss real quick for us is the difference between the therapeutic worldview Mm -hmm. and the Christian worldview. We would agree that therapy and whether it's psychotherapy Mm -hmm. or counseling Mm -hmm. or anything like that is important. Okay. But at the same time, there are differences between the worldview that's centered around the therapeutic and the Christian gospel. Okay. Um, you know, as you've already said and, and well said, we are seeing a, an incredible rise in mental health issues in mm-hmm. our culture, but that is also really splashing over into the church. We see this quite frequently in the church. Um, I've done counseling, you know, for 40 years as a pastor, but but in recent years, and and particularly even in the past year, year and a half, we have seen an astronomical increase in mm-hmm. people with serious mental health issues, and and uh, uh, it, it has been a challenge to try to process those and deal with those. And I want to say some things today about your the topic about the therapeutic worldview. Um, I, I want you to be careful not to hear what I'm not saying, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm not going to say everything that I could say or want to say, but I'm going to try to, you know, limiting the time that we have. Uh, let me say we've hit this several times in, in the topics that you and I have discussed on this program. But the Christian worldview, uh, simply put, and, and simply put is in four pieces, is uh, that First of all, God created. God created mm-hmm. everything. God created every person. Mm-hmm. Uh, most of our conversations with our children or with people in our lives come out of a worldview, and hopefully it will be a Christian worldview. We all can agree on God is the creator. If God is the creator, then the question becomes, what is the problem? What is man's problem? Well, we believe man sinned. We have messed it up. God mm-hmm. gave us a perfect world. Man sinned. Man messed up the world. The problems that we have today are, are repercussions of that sin, and we believe that to be true as a Christian in the Christian worldview. Number three, if man's biggest problem is sin, then what's the solution? Well, the solution, of course, is a relationship, we believe, with Jesus Christ. And then the Christian worldview goes on to extend into what happens when it's over, when our life is over, when the world is, well, we go to heaven or we go, you know, we, we have an eternal destination. Now, the therapeutic worldview begins to disagree from the very outset, number one. Many who, who really reflect that therapeutic worldview do not have the position that God created. Mm-hmm. They believe that we are a product of evolution or whatever the case may be. And, and that opens the door for all kinds of possibilities of what might be happening in us or what, you know, what we might be or what we might say we are. And, and it really gives the therapist no leg to stand on to be able to say, well, you know, you could be wrong about that. You can't really say that. You know, you are what you are, whatever it is you've evolved into in that worldview. The second piece of that in the therapeutic worldview is if, if we have just evolved, if we are, we, we really have no particular purpose other than we just showed up here through that process of evolution, then, then what is man's problem? Well, the therapeutic worldview says man's problem is we are mentally off, we are emotionally messed up. We All of our problems come back to mental or emotional issues that the therapist, of course, knows how to solve. And, uh, and, and then that becomes the third question is, you know, what, what is the answer? Well, therapy is the answer. Therapy mm-hmm. or, or psychotronic drugs or medication, that's the answer for all of our problems. Uh, what's the end? Well, the end is, you know, when you die, you die and it's over. Uh, so there's, there's this despair at the ending as well as at the beginning. But there's, there's a clashing of philosophies in here that, that are huge. Mm-hmm. Now, to serve in the church and in a Christian worldview as a therapist means, you know, you have to correct some of that. And I, when I began my training in counseling, I began it in a secular environment where I, I was taking classes that, that were coming out of that therapeutic worldview. 
I couldn't stay in them and be a confessing Christian. I couldn't do that. I just couldn't. I couldn't hear those things go. I, I don't. I would be constantly disagreeing with the, with the, with the instructor. So, so I, I went ahead and moved my training into a Christian uh, setting, and and it was a different approach then. And it's it's totally different when you're sitting through the Christian lens and looking at the problems that people have. Now, I believe again we we are not. Uh, anti-therapy at Fruco, of course not. We have right. people that are training, we have lay people, we have professional people that are working in therapeutic areas. And there's, I'm not trying to demonize it and say it's wrong. I, I think we have to be careful, especially when you're sending children. Uh, and, and I know a lot of middle school parents are thinking about, why well, do, do I need to get my kid into counseling? Do they need help with something? Uh, I think we need to, we need, it may be, the answer may be yes, yeah. but I think that we need to be careful to use that as a go-to solution for everything because the therapeutic worldview, uh, again, will come into play wherever you go. Uh, if you're taking your child to a counselor, some people say, well, I talked to this counselor and they said they believe in God. That's not enough questioning. Mm-hmm. What do you believe God did? Who yeah. do you believe God is? And there's a whole different realm of things. So, you know, I would certainly say if you could possibly get your child into a Christian therapeutic environment, it's going to be a lot more healthy, I think, than, than simply to go out. Now, that said, this is why I want you to be careful and don't hear what I'm not saying. Uh, that being said, I think that there are people uh, who definitely need, they, they need to go to a therapist that can give medication, that can provide those kind of things. I, you know, my, my, the premise of my therapy, when I work with people, my, my understanding is you can have a conversation with me. Mm-hmm. Well, there are people who need medication to be able to have a conversation. Uh, and I don't give the medication. We don't prescribe medication, but we certainly don't, don't say it's wrong if you take that. You know, I, if, if somebody has, somebody says, well, you just need the Bible. Well, Let's take that. Let's just take that off the therapeutic table for just a moment. And yes, the Bible has everything we need for you know life and love. This is this is the Bible. The Bible gives us those answers. However, if you have a pain in your side, and and there's something really hurting in your side, right. you're going to go to a doctor, whether that doctor is a Christian or a non-Christian, and be cared for in a hospital by a person who is Christian or non-Christian. It really doesn't matter. Can you give me medicine? to make my appendicitis feel better. Can you take this this wounded organ out of me so I don't hurt anymore? Right. Well, you know, at that point in time, we're going, well, yeah, we agree, that's, that's a good idea. If your tooth hurts, go to the dentist. Right. Well, there are people who definitely have, there, there is wounding, there is dysfunction, there are problems in our brains, the wiring of, of neuro, uh, of, of, of you know of, of our neurons, the, the, the firing of that gets, gets out of sync and the medication actually helps bring some of that right. back together. It's simple, it's medicine. Now, certainly you can get into uh, deeper areas of, of, and problematic areas of medicating people. And I don't wanna, you know, again, I don't wanna get into this, what I don't wanna say today. So don't hear me, you know, either blessing that or discounting, I'm just saying it is. But there are people certainly, and I deal with people all the time, usually weekly, who come in and they are on medication. And I can tell when they're not on their medication. It's a different it's kind true. of conversation. So, you, you know, yeah. it's, it's there. And, and I don't say, hey, you're wrong. You should just have more faith. I think sometimes, you know, if well, I, I broke my arm, we'll just have more faith and it'll get better. Well, I'm not going to say that. You wouldn't say that. That's, that's not common sense. But, and that's not taking anything away from the Word of God. But I think we just need to be careful uh, to, you know, not, not to rush quickly to a non-Christian therapist and say, well, I just need them to get help. You know, one of the big deals, and, and I know we're running out of time, but one of the big deals that we run into like, for instance, if you say, well, my child's depressed, okay? What, what do you mean? Well, they're sad. They don't want to talk. They want to, okay. So I'm going to take them to a therapist, and the therapist is going to talk to them, and they're going to, you know, sit down for a little bit and say, well, what's going on? Well, this, this, and this. Okay. Well, you're depressed. We're going to give you an antidepressant. Well, what if the problem is your child is under conviction by the Holy Spirit? Yeah. Well, a, a non-Christian therapist is not going to say that they're and is not going to be able to diagnose that. They don't see that. And the reality is sometimes conviction by the Holy Spirit and depression manifest in exactly the same ways. Yes. But we try to, well, let's numb that. Let's, let's, let's cauterize that pain. Let's stop that hurting so that, 
you know, uh, we'll make you feel better. But the reality is we have not solved the problem. Mm -hmm. You know, the problem is the Holy Spirit dealing with your child's heart. Maybe they are a Christian and they've been doing something they should not be doing. The Holy Spirit's just really dealing with them about that. Or maybe they're mm -hmm. lost and God's now dealing with them. And we mm -hmm. take them off to a therapist and say, here, give them some medicine. They're not, they're, they're sad. Well, sometimes your child's going to be sad too. You know, they're middle schoolers. They're going to be sad. Uh, to be sad is not like the end of the world. It doesn't mean you're a failure as a parent. It just means some kids are just wired a little differently and sometimes they're just they run a little on low ebb on things. That's not a bad thing. But again, don't assume that every problem your child has has to have a therapeutic answer. That's the therapeutic worldview. That's what we would, would reject. Yeah. Okay. Now, at that being said, let me, let me say at the Cove, we use some aspects of, of, of secular therapy. It works. It, there's the, there are certain techniques and certain, you know, practices and certain policies. They do work. And we don't reject those. We're not, you know, we don't throw the baby out with the bathwater, but we certainly will not come at any person from a therapeutic worldview. Every person we deal with will be dealt with through that Christian worldview. So. And, and it's such a complex uh, issue. Like you said, you know, there's, there's good found in both the worldviews. Yes. Um, but then, of course, uh, we affirm that, you know, with therapy, you cannot necessarily get better on a spiritual sense. Exactly right. Yeah. That only comes from the Christian right, worldview, right. but the therapeutic side can definitely help in the, in the spiritual yes. process yes. that you're going yes. through. And so, uh, parents, if you're listening to this, whether it's uh, you or your child, and you're beginning to see some issues, uh, again, I would highly encourage you reach out to The Cove here. You can find more of that information at fruitcove.com slash The Cove. Um, and as Tim was saying, we can kind of help with the initial process of what are next steps? What are some things to be looking for? How can I encourage this family member or this person that uh, God has put into my life? And then from there, you know, that's whenever we can start getting into the more complex uh, resources. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, uh, about either Fruit Cove Baptist or her ministries, of course, you can go to fruitcove.com, find out more. We would love to interact with you, so you can email us at parentlife can, at can, fruitcove.com. Can I say one more thing without? If you're dealing with a mental health issue, please don't do it by yourself. Please don't think you can gut it out, do it alone. We're here to help you. Please reach out, let us help you if we can. Okay, thank you. Sorry. Amen. Amen. And last thing I would just uh, remind you, why don't you go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that every week you can get the newest episode. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next week.